Hey guys, I had some really cool success today and it really kind of happened by accident. As you can see my new circuit is getting the room brighter than than any that I have in the past. And what I, what I do, totally, one of those things, you know, you're working on one thing and you go, hey, this is the answer to the other thing. Uh, I'm replicating a miniature George Wiseman uh, electrolyzer. I'm not doing this full blown one. I'm actually doing a miniature one with n using nickels. Anyway, here I was building a PWM for that. And I got watching Lid Motors video of him putting together this circuit for LaCroyables or whatever, the Incredibles or whatever those French guys are, the, fr the flip flop. So, you know, I thought, man, that's really neat. But I didn't like the fact that he had one of these rheostats going on. And then I looked at another one by a nice older fellow, I forget his name, a magnet man or something. Anyways, he had a linear voltage regulator going. And I'm thinking, you know, here I am out in the shop putting together this PWM. Now, when I run the PWM, and I deal with that, I don't get the heat associated with linear voltage regulation because you got the pulse width modulation instead. So nothing's, this, I just got this rolling. So, you know, obviously it's a little more complicated than it need be because the PWM could be part of the flip-flop, right? I got more discretes on here than I need, right? And I do have like an LM uh, voltage regulation to a certain extent 555 but in the end of the day it works really good like I'm getting these three bulbs almost to full bright um, and right now I'm running about uh, put this down what am I at right now I had it down a little bit lower than this I'm almost at 400 right now. Okay, I'm about 385 or something. But nonetheless, I mean, you can tell. The room is now, you know, quite lit up. You watch any of my other videos. Um, I'm running off a pretty good battery too. That's about 12.8. Um, 